Hello guys and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Reviews and for today's episode we have Overload or as he is known in this repaint uh, Ultra Magnus. I prefer Overload though I think that um, since this is blue gray blackish I prefer his whole red look I think it mixes a bit with uh, other colors than this whole sort of darker one but whatever this is the one I have uh, unfortunately in his vehicle mode um, his trailer is fine, but this vehicle lacks uh, a little peg that's supposed to come out of that hole right there, which pegs into there, so that it can hook up to the trailer. I guess it works still, but you can't really do anything, it's, it just hangs. So, sorry about that. But here is where it gets a little complicated. I don't know about this, really, since Overlord isn't featured very much on the show. At least not as much as I would like him to be, and a lot of fans have complained about this, that they just fuck Overload in the ass. He is not in the show as much as he deserves to be. Uh, fuck, he doesn't even have a character in the show, he's used as a tool. They basically, oh, send Overload, and then he never talks or anything in the show, so I'm a little bit disappointed on that, in that, but whatever. Um, his Minicon, I feel like this is not a Minicon. Even though the uh, the wikia says it is, uh, this is a rollout, and well, let's just say it is his minicon to make it easy. There we go. So his minicon is a necessary part of him. Him, he doesn't function without his minicon. His minicon also transforms into his head. So there you have the minicon's head, and you can fold up his actual head from there. So, there we go, his minicon is necessary to form his head. So, I guess, I think that's a pretty stupid design, but whatever. So if you lose this, your your figure is fucked. Um, as for minicons, this guy is really, really big. He is really big compa compared to uh, other minicons. I guess I'm a little bit disappointed in the proportions. He looks fat as hell with this, but whatever. This just not get stuck on the on rollout. So move on to the more awesome stuff that is. Come on. There we go. Move on to the more awesome stuff that is overload. So let's just put him to the side. What this guy's vehicle mode or trailer mode is supposed to be is beyond me. It is really hard to interpret what this is supposed to be. He has a function though in vehicle mode. Uh, Optimus, I can actually retrieve Optimus Prime's trailer. Hold on a second. Uh, Optimus, this guy can actually hook up to Optimus Prime's truck mode and replace his um, his trailer. But you can also hook these guys up with each other. I'm not sure how to though. Um, I think. Oh, there's the peg. There we go. There was a hidden peg in here. Which you can use to hook this thing onto the back here. It's a little complicated since I feel like this is a bit short, but whatever. There we go. Now, uh, this entire destructive train can then hook up to Optimus Prime here in the front. He has two trailers. There we go. This actually. Uh, that, that's actually a benefit of having this guy in a darker color because he matches with the trailer a, a little bit better. But, well. So that's a cool function of Overload, he can double as a trailer for Optimus Prime. But, okay, he can also, if you also have the Jetfire figure from the same series, he can actually use Overload as a starting ramp. You can place Jetfire here, and then place everything in a convoy, so it'll be like a truck, uh, jet ramp, uh, space shuttle, ultra uber convoy. And then Jetfire can like, you can like fold this up or something and then Jetfire could take off. So I guess uh, Shuttlecraft starter ramp trailer thing. Uh. Okay, let's get on with the transformation. And there we go. This again, another example of a huge brick. A badass brick though, but still. He has a cool function where you place uh, rollout 
back here. He has a little button that activates when you push him in. Awesome classic sound effect right there. So there isn't really much to him. He is he is heavy duty. He has really big fists and really thick legs and he's like oh god if you threw if you hurl this at someone they're gonna feel it. Jesus. The the electronics that makes him do the sound effect they carry some weight in here so he he is pretty heavy. He's definitely heavier than Optimus Prime's trailer and well that's pretty big so yeah. Well uh, let's see he has a small function hidden beneath his Autobot insignia in his shoulders. You can flip these up and it will reveal uh, rocket launchers hidden beneath. Really cool. But moving on to Overload's primary function on the show, why he is used as a character. Well, next to none. He's not used as a character. As I said, he's used as a basic tool, a weapon of war, and this is why. There we go. So, I have already taken the liberty to transform him into his super mode. And this is where shit gets crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Overload can transform into a third mode. There we go, and this can actually combine with Optimus Prime himself, and thus transforming him. Even further, this is Optimus Prime in his blast everything to hell mode. Combined with Overload, he forms uh, his uh, uber cannons, and they are freakishly big and Overload can also actually transform. If I had the peg left you could actually use him as a gun since he has two weapons in his legs. But you can simply just like attach him to any minicon port. So I think I'll attach him down here. There we go. And if you do this plus deploying Optimus Prime's regular weaponry. Come on. There we go. You have an unbelievable death machine. I fucking love this. This is awesome. Even though the you can't do anything. Possibility next to none. You can move the arms. That's pretty much it. Well, we've already covered that the legs they are a solid object. They they can't be moved except split. But you want, don't want to do that since it breaks the character part. But possibility next to none. You can move the cannons up and down like this, and I suppose you can tilt these down a bit. But well, yeah, that's about it. This is a really cool fucking ability to combine and form two awesome blasters for Optimus. So that's pretty badass. I love Overload. I think he's awesome. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Toy Reviews. Vortex out.